In this video, I cover the basic incremental analysis for eliminating a segment. Cowley Company makes three models of tasers. Information on the three products is below. The problem also tells us that fixed expenses consist of 300,000 of common costs allocated to the three products based on relative sales. An additional fixed expenses of 30,000 go to Tingler, 80,000 for Shocker, and 35,000 for Stunner. The common cost will be incurred regardless of how many models are produced. The other fixed expenses would be eliminated if a model is phased out. James Watt, an executive with the company, feels the stunner line should be discontinued to increase the company's net income. So now we need to do an analysis to see if they should in fact eliminate the stunner line. So the first thing we need to do is figure out what net income is right now. And so if we look at the problem right now, total net income is $60,000. If we eliminate the stunner line, we're going to lose all of the sales from that line plus all of the variable costs. The problem also tells us that we would lose 35,000 of fixed costs that are directly belonging to the stunner line. However, there's still 300,000 of common costs that need to be allocated now to our two remaining products. Since the problem tells us that the costs are allocated based on relative sales, we need to do the calculation to reallocate those costs. So the first thing that we need to do is figure out our percentage of sales for our Tingler line. So total sales after we eliminate Stunner are 800,000. Then our percentage of Tingler sales of 300,000 comes out to 37.5% of sales. Now we can allocate our common fixed cost of 300,000 times 0.375 to figure out that Tingler's portion of those fixed costs would be $112,500. Now remember, there are certain fixed costs that belong just to the Tingler line and just to the Shocker line. So we need to go ahead and go back and add on Tingler's $30,000 of fixed costs to determine that Tingler's total fixed costs would be $142,500. Now we can look at the Shocker line. Since our total common costs were 300,000, and we already determined that 112,500 would be allocated to Tingler, then the rest would go to Shocker. And of course, Shocker also has its own specific fixed cost, which the problem tells us are 80,000, so we need to add those in to determine that Shocker's total fixed costs are $267,500. So now, when we add those fixed expenses into the table, we can calculate our new net income after eliminating Stunner. Now if you look at the problem, our net income actually decreases by $20,000 after eliminating the Stunner problem. It was $60,000 before, now it's gone down to $40,000. The reason for this decrease is because we lost the $55,000 worth of contribution margin that Stunner was contributing to the company as a whole. However, our fixed costs only went down by that $35,000 that's specifically related to Stunner. So overall, it causes a decrease in net income of $20,000 if they choose to eliminate the Stunner line. So even though the Stunner line by itself is not profitable, it is helping the company overall to cover some of their fixed costs, so it actually would be better to keep the Stunner line. 